it's always a test the first month of the year because you have all of these new goals and habits and resolutions or whatever you set. A lot of people have some idea of, of what they want to work on or the person that they wanna be in the next coming year. And January is kind of like your first month to really just start and get going. And so sometimes it can go really well and be really motivating. And other times it can prove that working on your goals is not easy, it's hard, and it is an everyday challenge and that it's not always gonna be smooth and you might look back on some goals or some habits and and realize that it's going to be a year-long process to master all of these things. You're not, I mean, maybe some of you will master all of your habits to get to your goals in one month and you'll just stick to it the whole year. But for me, it kind of happens in phases. Getting into planning February, the first thing I wanna do is I want to journal a little, a little bit. If you wanna follow along with me, just ask yourself the question of, how did January go? How did I feel? And what do I wanna work on in February? And also I'm actually just gonna be using my Notion template because I really wanna type out my thoughts. And sometimes when I'm writing it out physically with my hand, by two minutes in my hand's cramping and then I give up. So at least with typing, I can get out all of my thoughts. You know those videos on TikTok where everybody's like... <laughs> I don't have nails, so... I like making these little, like, like a spritzer. Very refreshing. Let's go plan. After I was done journaling, I felt like I felt really mentally clear about what I wanted to work on in February and some of the habits, goals, and plans I was going to make for the month ahead. So I started with my February dashboard, which is just a little place to put the habits you want to work on, your to-do list for the month, this month's goals, and then a little note to yourself. So. I just wrote down all of my habits and the habits that you make and that you keep are literally what is going to help you accomplish your goals. It all starts with those little things we do every single day and this template helped me so much last time. Of course, you know, there are times throughout the month where I'll forget to fill out a couple days just because, you know, life happens and you don't always remember to fill it out, but just as long as every few days you're kind of going back and checking off your habits just so that you can see, oh wow, I haven't you know worked out in a week i gotta really prioritize that it just helps you see the things that you're falling behind on and just it also is really motivating because it shows that even the smallest amount of progress even one little square is still progress towards your goals and it still matters and all of those little things you do every day really do add up so i love filling that out and then i just went ahead put in my to-do list and i wrote out my five goals for the month that i have these vary from you know things that i want to accomplish projects i want to finish overall intentions around things that i want to work on and these kind of come up for me as i'm doing that journaling that i did earlier it'll become really clear to me as i'm just venting about my month what i really want to work on and what i really want to prioritize Now, 
moving on to the full monthly planning i just flipped my calendar and for the month of february i did do a nice pink and purple theme for valentine's day which is always fun i always start off by just putting in any events or holidays right off the bat Then in a different color I'm gonna use for all of my flourish planner stuff, I went ahead and I blocked off a week for filming my course. Finally, I have time to film my digital planner design course that I've been working on for the past few months and I'm so excited to finally really work on that this month. And then I went ahead and I also planned out some YouTube video ideas. YouTube is one of my biggest goals for 2024. This year, I really want to focus on posting more creative tutorials on iPad and then also doing more weekly productive vlog type of videos. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. So then from here, I just went ahead, planned out a couple more deadlines for myself and also made a couple weekend plans as well, which is always fun. And of course, adding in highlights, stickers and all of that. And then at the bottom of my calendar, I went ahead and I put in a quote as I always do. And then I also wrote in my February TBR, which is just my reading list for February. One of my goals that I put in my dashboard was to read four books, which I do think is possible because one of the books on this list is half done. And then the other book on this list is a fairly short book. So I do think four books will be manageable for me this month. I just posted a video where I wrote out my entire 2024 reading list, my goals for the year, and just kind of prepped my reading tracker for 2024. For my February vision board, I wanted to specifically put in things for more art and creative projects. I've been doing these like digital oil paintings on my iPad and I've been really enjoying doing them. So I wanna do more of those this month. And of course, per usual, always putting health inspiration on my vision boards. It's, you know, nothing new here. I also put this Sony camera on there because I am working on getting a new camera for filming vlogs. So if you wanna see health and wellness productive vlogs on this channel, let me know below. Very exciting stuff. This is what motivates me, guys. <laughs> This is what it excites me to get up and do stuff instead of scroll TikTok, okay? I don't know about you, but for I don't know what this does to my brain, but for some reason, this makes me extremely happy. All right, this is my final vision board planning setup. All of the things planned, ready to have a good month. Now we just have to go execute, take action, Check back in with your planner when you remember to. Don't beat yourself up if you mess up a day or two. Just keep going. You guys got this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.